One of the items that is critical for the economic growth in Southern Africa, it's looking at public resource mobilization the, in the world of taxation. And the idea is to say that if countries are able to collect revenue and use that revenue for its own development and use that revenue in a targeted way towards inclusive growth and inclusive development, that that would assist in us at, um, achieving the objectives and the aims that SA Tide program is working towards. For example, there was a study that looked at trade mispricing as a way um, of perhaps seeing a lot of the large corporates moving money out of, out of countries and making use of base erosion and profit shifting mechanisms. Other areas would be more traditional ways of looking at tax gap. Particularly, there was a study that was done in the non-financial sector where we looked at national accounts data, but then we sort of took it from the top down and meshed it with our anonymized tax data to see where are the areas that cause this tax gap. It allows for policy discussions, it allows for tax design discussions, allows for multifaceted areas that talks to a topic that is old, but the data allows us to then start looking at interesting new paradigms. So key to um, economic growth is productivity growth. And the way the South African system currently handles corporate income taxation doesn't necessarily promote productivity growth. So it gives lower effective tax burden to some of the older industries, if you wish, and not necessarily so, so many tax incentives for research development and the newer service sectors. So that's one. Then maybe a second one could be that the correct mix of using tax instruments versus social grants for redistribution. So I think it would be more useful to have these direct benefits rather than zero rating in the value-added tax system in order to reach the um, uh, distributional objectives.